Hey everyone, this is day one of my trip to Italy for the European Masters Games. Uh, it's Friday, I started my day off really early because the only train from Sarnia to Toronto is at six o'clock in the morning. So I had to get on that train. I have an overnight flight from Toronto to Milan, uh, which leaves at 9 p.m. And then I have to take a train from Milan to Turin where the games is being held. So right now it's about 2.45 p.m. Uh, I've been in Toronto since about 11 when the train arrived. Just uh, chilling out at the harbor front, which is a beautiful area. It's a beautiful day. I love Toronto, especially in the summer. So just a few scenes from that. But yeah, I'll probably just hang out here for about another hour, just relax in the shade and then uh, go grab some food, jump on the express train to the airport and uh, we can officially get this trip underway. So I'm really excited. Uh, I compete on the 30th. Also, I just wanna say a big thanks to everybody who supported me with the Make a Champ campaign, uh, everyone from the Taekwondo school back home, friends, teammates, students, uh, parents of students, and anyone who just sent any kind words of support or positive energy. This is gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good event. Really excited. This is my first multi-sport event, so it's gonna be awesome. Getting on to go to Turin. I should be there in two hours. Alright, so I just got to tour it and I had to take a bus from Milan and then I had to get a taxi to my Airbnb. This place is pretty nice. Got a nice apartment here. It's about 9 p.m. here in Italy. Uh, I arrived at, well I finally arrived in Turin around 3 and it was raining and I was pretty exhausted so I skipped out on doing like the opening ceremony parade and stuff like that. I was just exhausted from like a 24 hours of traveling in total but it's pretty sweet here. Uh, let's get a little bit of a look around. Like I said it's like 9 p.m. right now. Um, I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm looking for. Well, I am looking for a supermarket. So, hopefully I can find one. I haven't got my accreditation yet or anything. I'll just go do that tomorrow. It's not like I needed it today. Seems to be a lot of nice little like restaurants and cafes and stuff right around where I'm staying. Ooh, that looks pretty cool over there. So, I'm just gonna aimlessly walk and hopefully I can find something where I can get some groceries. Found a supermarket about 100 meters from where I'm staying, and there's also this really cool place over there uh, called Italy. Um, seems like it's kind of like a little mini mall, uh, has some nice little cafes in it, restaurants and stuff. Um, it's like a butcher type of place in there too. Uh, I don't know, I didn't go in, but uh, I need to get my groceries. That's my first priority right now. This is uh, Pam. This is the supermarket here. Let's see what we can find. So it's 2 a.m., can't really sleep that well, so I'm gonna try to take a hot bath here. Key word is try, because A, this is the smallest tub ever, and B, at this rate, the bath might be filled by 2020. I think we're at 10 minutes and counting. It's day two here in Italy, early in the afternoon. I didn't wake up too, too early today, I just kinda let myself sleep in a little bit. Got a morning workout in, so I feel pretty good. Uh, this is the apartment complex that I'm staying in, the Airbnb. So, a little bit of a look around here. 
and I'm gonna explore a little bit here, but I'm also on my way to get my accreditation and check in for the European Masters Games. Apparently it's about a 25 minute walk to the game center where we check in and pick up our accreditation. Um, but I gotta figure out which way I'm going. So time to fire up the old Google Maps. It's a nice day so I'd rather walk it today than take a taxi or a transit. This is a beautiful city. The people here are amazing. Everybody is super nice that I've talked to so far, whether it's just been like asking for little directions or instructions, trying to find my way around. It's been awesome. And uh, I would love to come back to Italy. It would be nice to go to Rome. I'm not really gonna have time to do that. I mean, if I was gonna do that, I would have done it yesterday and I had a bit of time. Uh, even though I'm flying out of Milan, I'm not really gonna have any time to see it. But, uh, but as far as touring goes, it's amazing. I don't know if I'm going the right way, but this is an amazing view, so I don't care. I'll find my way there eventually. This is legitimately the coolest thing I've ever been a part of in Taekwondo. There you go. Just a problem with your medical. You just show uh, you, you can go. To, there's a stand with okay. a problem resolution. Okay. Uh, you just show the medical and then you can come back. Okay. So there was a problem with my medical certificate, and should be good now. Yeah, he said there was a problem with my medical, so I went and got it fixed. Okay. 
Hacha. Hello. So I got my accreditation. Uh, give me a cool little backpack of stuff. And I'm just gonna kind of wander over here to this Taekwondo booth. There's the World Masters Games in Japan. You know it's a master's tournament when uh, you can buy a bathrobe. Legitimately Star Wars going on in front of me right now. Like right in front of me. Way in tomorrow, um, fighting plus 80 kilos. I'm Obviously, I don't have to cut weight. I'm like 86 kilos right now. This is really something special. I love this. Uh, they have a multi-sport event, games village type of setup, just like any other multi-sport thing, so. Already just meeting people from other countries that just come up and start talking. I've had people come up to me like, I had a Taekwondo player from Spain come up to me who was like, hey, I recognize you from Instagram. So we talked for a little while, meeting some friends from Iceland, from Taekwondo. So it's, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna check out what they got over here. It looks like a little food court. America street food. Nuggets and beer. Uh, yes. Uh, this is your YouTuber? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm Nomad. sorry? Nomad. My name? No, Nomad YouTuber. Name of YouTube? Uh, this. What you from? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. What is this?
here I give you an exclusive first look at the new electronic chess guard generation 6. I don't know what those lyrics were, but it's really catchy. Sababon! So the plan is that I'm going to go back to that place that I saw yesterday called Italy and uh, I haven't actually had a meal at a restaurant since I've been here so I'm going to grab some eats over there. I mean it's called Italy so it probably doesn't suck. Bar Snoopy. That's him right there man. Okay, we're back at uh, Italy, and I didn't go in last night, so we're gonna take a look inside today, see what this is all about. So it's like a big market or something. It seems really cool. I have a feeling that everything in here tastes better than anything in Sarnia. Just a hunch. Athletes must have the strongest willpower in the world, or the best metabolism, or both. All right, so I just ordered my first restaurant meal in Italy, and I got the penne alla norma and some potato thing. And I also have some sparkling water and bread. I'm really excited right now. I'm about to have my first piece of authentic Italian bread. Um, this is the appetizer that I ordered. I'm not 100% sure what it is. But it looks really good. Things just got real. I don't know if I can ever eat pasta again in Canada. That might have been... Yeah, no. I'm pretty sure that was one of the greatest experiences eating 
that I've ever had in my life. I think this is where I rate the restaurant experience. Five stars. It's day three in Italy, and I'm just waiting for a taxi, which I had to use this app to order, uh, so I can go to the venue for weigh-ins. But ordering a taxi here is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Hello. I need to go to this place here. Okay. I'm so used to taking Ubers that I just got out of the taxi and forgot to pay. <laughs> I feel like I wasn't too happy with me, but we got it squared up. This is a very... I weighed in 85.7 kilos. I just came to the venue today to watch the uh, just came to watch the Pumse competition a little bit. We had two Canadian athletes today. Took a silver and a bronze in Pumse, so awesome job! Congratulations to them. And uh, I'm just gonna wander this area a little bit, grab something to eat before I go back to the uh, Airbnb. So, game day tomorrow. It's about 8:30 p.m. It's the night before competition and. About to get some dinner, get a little bit of a late dinner here, get some pasta. There's this pasta restaurant that is right next to my Airbnb. I've been looking at it out the window. It's that close. I've been looking at it since I've been here, so I think I'm gonna have to check this out right now. So, I don't know how else to say it, but that meal was even better than the one I had last night. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be very, very difficult to look at a plate of pasta in North America now after experiencing this. This is like a whole new level. It's game day. Just heading to the venue right now and take care of business and have some fun. Let's go.
competition day is finished. Uh, my first fight, I won against the uh, United States. Uh, but I pulled my calf muscle really, really bad. And then uh, semifinals, I fought France. And I couldn't really kick at all um, with, my, with either foot because to go front leg with my left or to go back leg with my right, it just, just, just killed my calf. But uh, I managed to pull the fight pretty close, 3-2. Uh, scored a couple huge punches, got another really big punch in the last second that they, the judges didn't give me, unfortunately, but I would have taken it to golden point, but it is what it is. I uh, had a really good time, so thanks to everybody for supporting, and I will be back at the next one. Sai, boy. What's up, brother? He's won his semifinals. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Feeling good? Getting ready for finals pretty soon here. Uh, age don't mean. Age is only a number. Now I'm about to conquer that, oh, I hope. <laughs> Thanks, All right, man. brother. Hey. All right, so the day is over. How do you guys feel? Fantastic. We got the gold medalist here, champion. He, uh, he beat his last uh, opponent using the telepathic powers. <laughs> and now, oh, are we gonna go? And now we're carrying flags around, waiting, more waiting. That's his, uh, his lucky. Uh... I'm sure the only time you've been a national champion, I sat in the chair. No. Oh, you won a medal another time, you didn't? Yeah, careful coaching. Oh, <laughs> oh so you mean, so every time you're only coaching, you've never won. Oh, <laughs> How was your day, coach? Have a good day? Yeah, no bad, no bad. Yeah, you were trying to control this crazy Canadian. I thought we did all right. I thought we did all right. We didn't throw anything away, did we? We made some good decisions. One bad decision. Yeah, we won't talk about that. We won't talk about that. So the competition is over and I came away with a bronze medal. It's not the color of medal I wanted, but there's only so much I could do. Uh, I had a really bad pulled calf muscle and all I could really do was punch in my second fight with France and I lost three to two. I really, really believe I could have won this tournament, but I gave everything I had and I'm happy. And uh, this was the best Taekwondo experience of my life. I loved it, I loved every second about it. And uh, I will be back at the next Masters Games. And I love Italy. Now it's time to eat some more food. So I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who supported me, everyone who supported my fundraiser, sent positive comments, and uh, thanks to everyone at the club back home. And big thanks to Rich today from Great Britain. Amazing coach, amazing coach for being there in my corner. And, uh, it is a great experience, so till next time.
<laughs> that's the front page. Yes, that's fine. Next time, I'll be more Two, two, Libra. What are you having? Screaming orgasm. I'm going to have a screaming orgasm. Two. Two screaming orgasms. Yeah. Me and Ava are going to orgasm together. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is my last night in Italy. My last night, my friend here, he's going to make me the Hi, best friends. kebab. Yes, the best kebab. The best kebab in Torino. With a beer. Two, make it even better. Yes, man. This concludes my trip to Italy. I will be back. We'll be back. The best Italian beer. The best Italian beer right Moretti. there. Moretti. Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Let's do it.